السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس آئی ایم شیئرنگ پروڈکٹ ریویو فار تھینما ایل سی آر میٹر آئی ایم ناٹ پروموٹنگ اینی پروڈکٹ آئی ایم جسٹ شیئرنگ مائی شاپنگ ایکسپیرینس اٹ از سیونٹی ٹو ڈیش ایٹ میٹر اٹ از ایل سی آر انڈکٹر کیپیسٹر رجسٹر and it also test diodes and continuity so it is from Tenma USA operating manual and it comes with the test, two test leads it have a battery inside power button LC button inductor and capacitor button if you will press it press in it will test the capacitor if we press out it will test inductor so here we have test leads for ohms diode and continuity and here for inductor and capacitor and here we have test jack for inductor and capacitor to measure a perfect measurement for any inductor or capacitor and here we can test transistors npr P, npn or pnp on hfe or gain mod so let's check insert these leads test leads in the test jacks power on here we have inductance from 2 milli henry to 20 henry so here is inductance then we have from this point to here up to 600 microfarad capacitor range then we have gain and here we have up to 20 mega ohm resistance here we have continuity and diode mode we can test inductor power on and this lc switch must be pressed out if it is press in so press in is for capacitor pressed out is for inductor now connect both leads to the inductor set the manual range switch to a position where we can get a good reading 0.160 and we have to remember one thing it should not close to any metallic part if it is close to this metal part its reading will difference its reading will not good so for best reading it should away from any metallic part from any ferret material from any iron material so this reading it is one one five one so it is one six zero that is within range because in inductor we have to compromise the inductance value i connected this inductor it is giving over range here it will we have to increase the range it will give 3.26 so its coding is 332 so 328 that's good 3.28 the exact reading should be 3.30 so it is within range because in inductor we have to compromise now i have another inductor this inductor have no effect from any metal part because it have a metallic cover outside so its inductor value is fixed 2.52 if you will put higher range it will give 2.6.03 for good reading we have to select a good range here it will give over range so we have to come here in 20 milli henry we are taking 2.52 milli henry so this is the value of this inductor now we will check this coil which have no core and we will see the response of the core how the ferret core works with coil it is giving over range here it is 59 milli henry now i will insert a screw driver as a core so the 59 milli henry coil when i insert the screw driver we apply the core 
so its reading become high 59 now it is over range because its inductance increased increase the range so it is 2 1 2 3 2 4 2 4 2 4 2 point two four two two hundred forty two milli henry for example we insert two screwdrivers so its inductor value will increase normally it is point zero six zero and in this case it is point two four one so in this way we can find the inductor value or we can collect inductor at this test jack now we can test a capacitor at the same test terminal it is giving open then we have to change the next reading it is 99.9 99.5 nano it is 100 nano capacitor 104 so it is 99.5 nanofarad uh, we can remove the test leads and we can insert this capacitor in the test jacks so it is the perfect value 99.1 always remove test leads and never test voltage this multimeter will never test voltage just only when you want to test a capacitor short circuit the both leads when you want to test a capacitor discharge the capacitor perfectly and then if you have polar capacitor we have to connect positive and negative it is 1.019 so it is 1 microfarad plus minus 10 percent so it is 1.019 capacitor microfarad now we have another capacitor discharge these test leads it has 467 66 68 67 so it is 470 microfarad so it is the perfect value or we can also use these test leads to test any capacitor but the best method to test capacitor test it outside discharge the leads negative to negative terminal positive to positive terminal it is 467 then we have transistor HFE gain mod in gain mod we can test this transistor any transistor we can insert it insert the leads in the test jack so here it is giving 95 so this gain of the transistor and it is showing emitter base and collector so emitter this pin is emitter this one is base and this one is collector and type of transistor is NPN then we have resistor for resistance measurement we have to connect common lead here positive lead here and I have I have this 6.8 ohm resistance It is measuring 6.9 because it is 6.81 ohm 6.81 ohm resistance so it is measuring 6.9 that is exactly within the range now I can select this 150 ohm resistance it is wire wound resistance so it is measuring 147.8 ohm resistance
because it is manual range multimeter here it is not reading any resistance 2 can increase the range it is 6.8 it is 6.9 so within tolerance it is 6.86 then we have diode in diode mode it is given 552 that is the voltage drop in forward condition reverse it reverse the leads so it is giving open circuit so that means the diode is good and if you want to check continuity for any wire any cable this piece of wire so it is giving continuity friends i hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative give a thumb up if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it and if you want to watch my videos in future Press the like button. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.